Hey guys, Wildox Studios here, and today we're going to talk about Unreal Engine 5.4 post the um, preview replacement with the actual release and the sleeper hit 5.4.1 um, and how to resolve a shadow issue that's kind of slept into our a bug that has been released with those two versions. Um, preview vis uh, the preview version of 5.4 doesn't have this issue. Um, so whenever you do actually upgrade to the full release, um, this is how you can resolve uh, the shadow issue that's going to pop up for you. Um, so we'll launch a blank project. Um, I say blank. I'm going to use the VR template because it's the quickest way to kind of show you guys the bug. If you're on a forward rendered uh, pipeline or using mobile, um, mobile sometimes you guys use forward on, uh, the most of the time actually would use the forward rendered pipeline or if you have scalability um, settings that um, you know you don't want to use deferred rendering you want to render something very quickly and you pick the mobile scalability path um, for quality then it's going to kick you off into the forward rendering pipeline anyway I'm gonna go to virtual reality because that's the quickest way to kind of show this I'm just gonna pick a, a path here and we'll name this VR template. If I can type five underscore four, I'm gonna hit create. Um, this should, yeah, this is gonna be fairly quick. So when you load into the scene, um, nothing's gonna appear to be out of place. And, and this is because the scene has baked lightings uh, um, in the scene that that's can kind of tell based on the way this directional light is casting here but if you get into a place where it uses see i know you guys could see that for a second so you see the way the shadow is kind of <laughs> being destroyed there so um directional lights and 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 um spotlights if they're shadow casters they will use a cascade shadow map um, blending technique with the baked lighting technique to um, use movable or cast shadows for movable objects. Um, so again, I can see why this was kind of missed, but if you were fully dynamic, you'll, which I'm going to show you how to do here in a second, you would have seen this right away. So mobile projects that are using dynamic lighting and not stationary lighting would have seen this immediately. Um, so yeah show you how to fix that and um, I'll show you the project settings to look for that is going to make this more apparent so if your project is using forward shading and mobile or forward shading on the desktop that's the difference between these two here then your shadow casting method um, and, and this is not for you guys if you're on deferred and you're like started working on 427 and you haven't upgraded to virtual shadow maps you would see this too but if your shadow math method is not using virtual shadow maps and it's falling back to cascade shadow maps, which used to be the default, so older projects would likely see this issue as well, um, then you can follow along for this fix. Um, so to make this more apparent in the scene, I'm going to go over to my world settings. I'm going to find light mass and we're going to disable pre-compute lighting. So um, light mass is here. Don't need world light settings. We'll go find pre compute under advanced. We're going to force no pre compute now. Um, from here, we will need to you could build lighting only and it will force no pre compute, but it's not going to clear the light maps, which is weird. But if you just do build all, you'll see it does everything. Um, and then now you can see the shadows are looking kind of weird and derpy but the light maps are still here so we got to do that one more time and now they're gone so um <laughs> this looks horrible um but that's because the lights um are still i mean they're broken one but they're still set to um we'll go to skylight static so this is what it would look like if they were dynamic um so you can see that light maps are totally busted now another issue is if you try to save and exit right now which i need to do um it's gonna bug out on you um this template map build data 
um, is going to yell at you and be like, I can't save, right? Um, so in the in <laughs> to get rid of that bug, you just, just delete this guy. He's gone. We don't need it anymore. There is no, um, we're gonna rebuild all um, and then we'll save all. So that'll, that'll get you around that problem. Um, anyway, we need to close out of the editor real quick. And we're gonna go out to uh, the place that you have Unreal Engine installed. So you don't need C++ or anything like that. Go to Program Files, find your 5.4, find Engine, find Shaders, then Private. And then here you're gonna type Shadow. Um, and this is going to be the Shadow projection pixel shader I believe is what we're looking for um, so let's oh I actually I already have it yeah shadow projection pixel shader it's already open in code for me now you can use notepad or anything you want um, and then this is going to be basically changed to if mobile multi view and or instant stereo and then a conditional and the shading path is mobile so once you swap this out on 149 you can hit save and then you can go back to your project that you just saved um, reopen it it's going to recompile the shader dismiss um, not now and then we will hit build all once again and then um, we will check the lights we are movable we are movable we will check light mass we have no light maps and Yeah, I knew something was looking a little weird here. So go to your skylight, change it from stationary to movable again to get it from looking all dark the way that it was looking because it should be a brighter color like this. But anyway, at this point, your cascade shadow map should be right and um, your baked and build data should be right. And yeah. If we hit play in the scene, um, everything should be casting and uh, your CSM cache data on the screen should be shaded properly. Um, I hope this helps you guys. Um, my, By the way, uh, Patreon members, I want to say thank you to you guys. Um, everyone over on the Wild Out Studios Discord. Um, yeah happy coding, happy developing, and um, remember to reach out with additional questions or video topics. Uh, toodles.